player believes he's got a team that can make a run into this tournament. But to do so, they're going to have to slow down or keep up with one of the top offenses in America, the five seed DePaul Blue Demons. Lowell Galindo here with Drea Carter. This is all part of the Spokane region. Notre Dame, the one seed. Villanova, the nine seed. The winner of that matchup later tonight will take on the winner here at College Station, Texas A&M, or DePaul. Andrea, the Aggies are the future face of college basketball. Kennedy Carter coming off her second career double-double. Did put up 89 points in their win against Drake. Second most ever for the Aggies in an NCAA tournament game. Kyla Hillsman wins the tip, and it's into the hands the Paul and the blue and black. Williams knocking down. The Ashton Millender kicking it back out. Good ball movement. Marte Gray's pure. From they actually have turned into a pretty solid rebounding squad. Graves into the trees and gets it to go, working on Kyla Hill. Line and hits two, and you see Coach Blair there kind of presenting the Aggies as an underdog, as Millender. Favors DePaul, that shot by Danny Williams. Gary Blair doesn't want his team to settle. If they don't have something early, he wants them to execute. Gorgeous feed from Graves. To the bench, Kayla Wells, the freshman, comes in, and right off the inbound, Carter, long pull-up. Hill's been offensive rebound and in. This season, Kennedy Carter and her fatigue settling in, but Gary Blair has to keep her on the floor. Outside. Wells gets her own miss and the putback. Carter will sit out the final moments of the first quarter. McKinney trying to break everybody down off the dribble. Lumpkin, no rebound. Howard and one. ...that he has with them. What was your relationship with like with him when you were a player? It was great, but it, it had to get to that point. Interest in A&M, she'd been to some camps. I didn't know that she was so pro Baylor, but I'm glad we, we changed her mind. She to score, her ability to finish. Um, a lot of offensive things make her make her very special. And I think anybody that watches who are just, they got a passion for the game. They're going to play hard all the time. She's one of those people. Sydney, we really appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping Thank by. Thank you. Thank you. Connects on the first field goal make for the Aggies to snap that run. Wide open look to the bucket. Does it look at this moment in time like Carter is trying to do too much as Howard gets back to ball for four quarters? Williams spin move off the hands of Lumpkin. Carter gets it back. Baseline, 100 miles per hour. And it was impressive. Stonewall with the response. Look how quickly DePaul gets down. Campbell heaves it. Got it. Just one of seven with three points. That layup and a free throw. Add another to make it two of eight from the field for Carter. Uber competitive. Good feed inside. Wells. Lumpkin almost comes up with a steal. Inside feed to Hillsman. Gray's got a piece of it. And Howard gets the roll. Howard leading score for Texas A&M at 10 points. As Millinder. You on offense. And Real Howard, don't get me wrong, when she's scoring, that should be a bonus for Texas A&M. The ball was not sticking. And that first round win against Drake, and it is finding the same. Campbell, two-point shot, good. Not the huge edge in the second quarter, outscoring the Aggies 27 to 14 after it was a tight first quarter. In the strength on the inside, but you have a team that's quicker and can keep up with DePaul. Oh, there's the quickness. Back doing what she does best. She wants to win. She's a competitor. She needs everyone else to step up and get going with her. Carter on cue. They just can't connect. You can tell that spark is back with Kennedy Carter. And a bench. How did she thread the needle there? Howard, offensive board, and the putback for the Aggies. Allen, cold-blooded, 
And it's a six-point game. Prochaska, no. Put back from Allen, yes, for the game. There's life on the defensive side for AM. Oh, no! Cole Howard going back to that mid-range and missing everything. Rumpkin keeps it alive. Corner for three. Yes! Responses all afternoon here at College Station. Nice feed and move from Millender. Carter breaking down to the ball defense and dropping it. Four second difference. Allen for three. And another one from Tanita Allen. Carter, long two. Contact with Allen. Wells with the follow. Coleman, Mr. First, counter second. Millinder. Rebound, Stonewall. And gets it to go. Stonewall just picked up foul number four off the key. Carter, pure. Team point lead for the Blue Demons. How much is left in the tank for Carter? Plenty. Howard again to Carter, to Wells. Bucket and in. Shot clock winding down. The ball already with one shot clock violation. Stonewall, glassing good. However, she's in foul trouble. She has four, Stonewall with four, Coleman with three. Speaking of three, Coleman's got another one. Numbers advantage, and DePaul takes advantage of it. With... Shot clock winding down. Howard beats the buzzer, and one. Five on the clock. Inside the Campbell. The rush shot goes! Ashton Millinder, how did she get that off? Long to scramble, to get around those pro screens and those fade screens, that's tough. The quickest of releases, answered by Coleman. Step back two, short. Aggies within one. Bucket from Monte Gray's shot, no good. A 17-point lead by DePaul has been whittled away. Seven seconds left. Corner, got it! Future face of college basketball, 37 points. She could have taken the two. She could have attacked the rim, but she pulls up for the three with all the confidence and knocks it down. Watch the celebration. That is a ball player. She has scored the last nine points. The steal! Bender! Done that! A&M completes the fourth biggest comeback in tourney history.